हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सुशील दिस साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ एज ए डेटा फैक्ट्री इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड एंसर सो रिसेंटली वन ऑफ माई सब्सक्राइबर हैज अटेंडेड इंटरव्यू विद टी सी एस एंड दीज टू सीनारियोज वॉज आस्क देयर सो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द सेकेंड सीनारियो इन दिस वीडियो सो एज पर द सेकेंड सीनारियो वी आर हैविंग डिफरेंट सी एस पी फाइल्स इन द ए डी एल एस लोकेशन एंड those files are having something like the india australia england south africa cricket teams so for example if any tournament is going to happen then all those schedules will be on that particular excel file so that excel file or the csv file will be having the combination like india will be going to play with australia so that will be in the one file india will be playing with the england then that will be the second file so such type of files we are having and the requirement is we want to fetch only india cricket team related files from the pipeline so we have to design a pipeline and on that pipeline we have to fetch only for the india related files if india is going to play with australia or south africa or any another team then we have to fetch out that particular file so let me quickly go in the browser so inside the browser i have inside the blob storage so inside this input container we are having these five files so in these files we can see the name of the files which is having the schedule so bangladesh versus england schedule india versus australia india versus new zealand sri lanka versus new zealand and west indies versus south africa so as per the requirement we have to fetch out only india related file which is the second and third file and we want to copy these two files from this input location to the output container so here as of now we can see we are having these three folders so outside this we should be copying those two files so we need to design one of the pipeline so how we can design the pipeline so first as we can see inside the input container we are having all these files so by using the get metadata activity we should be getting all these files and then after by using for each activity we will be looping through all the files one by one and then by using the if condition activity we will be checking if the name is having india or not if the name is india then we will be using the copy data activity to copy those files into the output location so this is we are going to implement in this video so inside data factory i am going to create a new pipeline and here in this pipeline first as i told you we have to use the get metadata activity so this get metadata activity will be going to get all the files so we have to select the data set so i am going to create a new data set here it is pointing to azure blob storage so we can select then delimited text and then we have to select the link service so i am going to use this link service underscore employee so this is pointing to same location let me browse for the path here we need to select the input location and without selecting any file we can just click on okay so it is pointing to input location first row as header we can select this checkbox and after that we can click on okay so it will be creating a new data set and this data set is pointing to the input location of the blob storage and we can see the field list so we should be selecting the child items so what child item will be doing child item will be going to get all the files under the input location so child item means whatever the available files inside the given location that is input so let me try to debug it and i will show you all these files should be appearing here so as we can see it got executed successfully inside the output we should be seeing all those child items and we are having the name property and the type that is the file so under the name property we are having the file names so all the files are here next we have to go one by one for each file and then we should be going to check so for looping all these we should be going to use the for each activity so inside the for each activity go under the setting and here we can see the items so under the item we have to use the child item of the get metadata one we can click on okay so next inside the 
for each we have to use the if condition activity so what if condition will be doing if condition activity will be checking whether your file name that we are getting under this particular for each those are having India there or not so we have to check inside the if condition activity so here we can simply go inside the activities and under the activity we can see expression so inside the expression we can see we are having this item property with the name so if this value contains India then that will be true otherwise false so here we can use the function under the functions we can search for the contain so here we have the contains we can select it and if your for each name will be containing India then we want to use those files let me click on okay so if that will be true so under the true we should be going to use the copy data activity for copying those files so here we have to set up the source and sync so both source and sync will be dynamic because the file names that we are getting so those are coming by using this for each activity so inside the for each activity we are having item dot name property so by using that property we are receiving the file names so go to on the source and here let me create the source data set and this is for the blob stories so we can select the blob stories click on continue delimited text click on continue here link service we can select the same we can browse till the input location and we can click on ok so it is pointing to input location but the file name that should be coming from the for each activity so here we don't have any property by which we can make it dynamic so we can click on ok here we can click on open so here we should be seeing property for making this as dynamic content so before going to make this as dynamic we can go in the parameter and we'll create one parameter and let me call this source file name and go in the connection and inside this we can use that particular parameter and click on ok after making this change once we back to the pipeline here we should be seeing the data set is asking about the file name parameter so this should be going to pass from your for each activity but here we cannot see for each activity but we can use that for each activity by writing item then start the bracket dot we can use the name property so it's not a label here but we can use it let me click on ok so that looks ok go to the sync and here let me add a new data set and this is pointing to the output location so we can use the same link service and this time we want to keep the file into the output location click on ok again we need to make the file name as dynamic so we can click on ok and after creating this we can open it and here we can create a new parameter so this is for the sync file name and inside the connection we simply go and select this sync file name click on ok so after making this change once we back to the pipeline it should be going to ask this parameter so again this parameter value we should be getting from the for each activity explicitly you have to write this otherwise it's not available here let me click on ok so we have done each and everything let me quickly go inside the pipeline and try to debug it so once it will be executed your files should be going to copied and those files copied which are having name as India so we will be going to wait until this will not be executed so here as we can see it got executed successfully let me go and try to see one by one so inside the get metadata here we can see all these child items so those are one two three four five and after that we can see for each so for each will be receiving total five counts so it means it will be executed five times as the child item is five next if condition will be executed for five times and then if that is true so as we can see two files are having India so those will be going to copy so first is going to copy here 
and the second file will be going to copy here let me quickly go into the output location and I will show you like those two files should be copied as you can see these two files has been copied here so by using this approach you can copy these two files so I hope guys you have understand how we can achieve this for the source data you can simply create these XLS file without having any data in the file for your practice purpose and you can call the name like I have used here thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for getting the notification of newly uploaded videos see you in the next video